this will set up here as my DIY LiPo 4 or lithium ion charger so what we've got here is a 19 volt power supply it can be as long as it's um, just a few volts higher than the battery that you're charging that's fine and it's just going through a watt meter and it's going into this which is um, one of those eBay constant current constant voltage modules I've just got another one here and basically what happens is this one you can set the voltage this one is just controlling when the red light comes on at what current the red light will uh, illuminate to show that the battery is charged and uh, this one actually sets the charging current so we're charging a 4 cell 1.5 amp hour battery here and I've just set it to just 14.03 volts just slightly over 14 volts and that'll charge it up to about 3.5 per cell uh, and the reason is I put it slightly over 14 is just so that this can balance it so basically what will happen is when the cells get up to 3.5 if they go to 3.51 uh, this will discharge whichever cell goes high and then it'll start balancing the whole lot and this is just a very cheap uh, lipo balancer I got this one of Hobby King but uh, Hobby King due to the changes on the website have become uh, a no go now because the website is totally unusable I can't find anything on it anymore um, and this here is one that I've modified and I put huge 3.9 ohm resistors on it I took all the original resistors off and I put these on and that gives about 800 milliamps of balancing current per cell uh, which is which is really good that's a bit much for this battery it pulls them down um, a little bit too much but I'm thinking when I go over to lithium and the solar shed I'll either use an Arduino based system uh, for balancing or I'll use this But another important point with these modules is uh, you should always put a heat sink on them uh, because they do um, produce a fair bit of heat even when you are charging at um, lower currents because there's just nowhere for the heat to go really if you're just using it like this. But you can get them for about £3 on eBay and uh, they're, they're really good. You can charge at a maximum of 2 amps with them. Uh, but I'm just using them um, 800 milliamps just now because since you should only really charge them at about 0 0.5 C or less. When the battery does get um, close to being fully charged, I'll show you the balancing in action. A word of warning for safety's sake, though, is that um, obviously this kind of this method of balancing has no control over the charger. So if one cell was to go really high well there's no communication so the charger wouldn't stop and it would damage that cell so that's why I'm only charging them to 3.5 volts per cell rather than uh, 3.6 I think it's 3.65 is really the, the absolute fully charged voltage for LiPo 4 but um, I'm going down to 3.5 and if I was using um, these in, a, in the solar shed a huge LiPo 4 I'd probably only go up to maybe um, 3.4 and maybe stop there because the battery would be so hugely oversized anyway and I'd want it to last many many years if I was using lithium ion batteries I'd only charge to maybe 4 or 3.95 per cell if I was using a really huge pack and that would give me that huge safety overhead to give um, this time to balance out the pack So now we've reached the end of the charge and as you can see the balancer is doing a good job of balancing out the cells. This top one here has always been uh, just a little bit high but it's, uh, it's doing a fine job of bringing them all into line. So it goes to show that um, it does work pretty well. Um, so this way is really only suitable if you 
reduce the charging voltage by quite a bit. Don't actually charge them up to their rated voltage. Put in a a good bit of safety headroom so that um, if it cannot keep up, then you've got that safety overhead there. Uh, I've also got my data logging watt meter connected, uh, and I'll plug that in and view the graph just now. Well, this might look a bit strange, but um, I was actually reading the watts and amps as negative, and that is because um, that was because just the way they had the current sensor set up, it was flowing the opposite way, so we're at about negative 15 watts there when I connected the system up. That was when I adjusted the power just to save some time, and those spikes are when I was playing about with the power. And it slowly goes down to about uh, roughly 1 watt, and this red line here is just watt hours, and as you can see it has a nice curve to it. Uh, it um, starts to even out like that, so uh, that's our data log. So it'll be quite interesting to get a data log of an entire charge cycle, and uh, I think I will do that um, maybe another day. Also, what I need to do is have a feature where the time in seconds is added to the log file as well, as well as the amps and the volts.